or two when this sun is down, the bugs are kind of come for me. So that'll be fun. I'm already thirsty. I'm not sure what to do. safety of camp. I got everything packed up and ready. Leaving Bessie to sleep for a couple of days and we're headed up this mountain. Doesn't really look very steep but when you look way up there on that grass I think it pretty much goes straight up. So let's go take a look. trees but it's up there and I'm not sure if I want to go down to get water because I only literally have half a bottle left and my plan was to actually spend the night up here on the peak but I'm positive there's not gonna be water from here till there so I'm already thirsty and I'm not sure what to do I'm really tempted to go down to these lakes um, I have a feeling logically I should go and peak this mountain take some photo photos take some video and then uh, get down here to these lakes and spend the night and then find my way back to the Jeep in the morning. I've already traveled a little over a mile. It's been pretty much uphill the whole way uh, and a pretty good uphill. A couple breaks, but that means tomorrow is going to be, for the most part, downhill. Uh, but if I go down to these lakes down here, um, I'll have to be coming back uphill to, do, uh, to find the Jeep. Okay, so far I'm doing pretty good. I think I got about 500 feet left. And it's straight up this fucking mountain. But <clears throat> we're almost there, so we are gonna keep trucking. We'll be scrambling over these rocks. It kind of gets to the point where it's just all boulders, so you kind of have to uh, find a way around them. But I bet at the top of this mountain it's just gonna be unbelievable. So let's get there. We are here, and I swear on camera, it never looks like how it does in person, of course. You just have so much to look at. This is probably one of the most spectacular views in this area for sure because you're kind of right in the heart of everything. All the mountains, all the lakes, the valley, the high sierras, everything. It looks absolutely unbelievable. So we're gonna do a, a little tour. I'm gonna walk you guys around right here. Well, literally just spinning because well, I'm standing on a fucking rock and that's it. These are just boulders up here. So there's really nowhere to walk around. Uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of this place and show you what it looks like, what we can see from here, how far we can see from here, zoom out on some of these mountains. It took me a couple of hours. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I think I'm a little out of shape from uh, sitting and tattooing every day. I blame that on everybody, everybody watching. Um, all right, I'm gonna, tour, I'm gonna tour you guys around, show you how beautiful this place is. But, uh, down here we have the valley. You can tell by the uh, you can tell by the air quality in this area. Um, we actually, if you zoom in here, 
Let's change this a little bit. You can barely see off in this distance. You can barely see right there. Pine Flat. This is Kings Canyon going through here. And it goes all the way. It just looks amazing. All the way up through in there. And leads up to those high Sierras. Um, if you look up here, you can actually see. I'll zoom in here for us. So there's the uh, Kauias. Um, I almost can't tell, but it looks like you can damn near see Sawtooth over there. I'm not sure. There's a few mountain peaks over there that are hard to make out from here. But you have the Kauias over there. What a beautiful sight. You come over here. I think um, here in a second you're going to see right there is uh, Mount Silman. Keep going this way. It's just unbelievable up here. The sights are crazy. Uh, this mountain right down here, this is actually, I believe this is called uh, Ren Peak right here. And then uh, this is, no, this is Ren Peak right here. And it leads up to uh, Mount Harrington. So at Mount, Mount Harrington, you can actually see uh, from Clovis. Well, you can technically see the mountain I'm standing on too. It's just not as easy to notice. But Mount Harrington's pretty obvious because of the way that it, the valley comes in together and it runs down the, uh, the Kings Canyon right here. So then you go over here. This is a pretty unique, pretty unique object over here. Um, I don't know what to call it. Um, I'm gonna call it the Oubliette, but it is called something else. I'm not sure the name. It's something similar, like Oblesque or something, or Oubliesque. So this is um, it's more of the High Sierras and Clouded Mountains over there. You can see some of these huge mountains way, way in the back, just looming over us. That is some hard shit right there to get to. I actually believe this here, if you look in the back there, those kind of interesting looking fellows in the very, very back. I think those are the Palisades. So I'm going to zoom out a little. Start going this way. We're going to start getting it too. This is actually where the PCT runs through, right in here. Pacific Crest Trail runs through there. You can go that way and eventually run into Mono Hot Springs. This down here actually is, well, let's go back to these lakes. This is really cool. These nice little lakes, these alpine lakes down here. Uh, again, I don't know the names. I don't have a map with me. Don't tell anybody I came up here without a map. But um, So that's Mount Ritter there in the background. Got some nice cloud coverage. Makes everything look a lot better. Uh, and then next to it, if we go this way a little bit longer, um, you can see these odd-shaped rocks there in the distance. One right there in the middle. That's actually right above Courtright. That rock is called, I believe, that's Dogtooth Peak. Um, and behind it, I just made a video a couple years ago. Behind it, right behind it, there's just a little uneventful hill um, right there on the center of the screen. And uh, that's where I did my last video, like I'm doing now. And it's just been a while, so opening the studio and taking care of the family and all the weird shit that's been going on in the world has kind of kept me away from up here. But this whole area up here is dinky. This is the dinky wilderness area, kind of that whole chunk of rock right there. So three sister, sisters is right to the left under those clouds. Uh, you keep going, and again, it looks uneventful from this end, but looking back, that's um, it's kind of looking down on the valley. If you go far enough, you can actually see the back end of uh, right here where um, Bald Mountain would be. I parked somewhere down in this mountain right here at the bottom, so i got to go back later, but I think I might spend the night up here find one of these lakes. But just look at these just these interesting rock formations. It's just so unusual everywhere. Everything up here is almost kind of rugged and just, you know, almost looks like it, it would just be incredibly hard to get to. Beautiful. This might be one of my favorite ones. Just, what a rad place. I think this is actually a human lake right here. So I'm going to zoom in. You can see way, way back there. Just barely right in the center. There's a lake back there. You can see a lake. You can see 180 going through here. This is the 180 that comes up through Kings Canyon. If you guys have ever been on that road, it's a beautiful view. You'd be staring up the mountain I'm standing on. So, next time you're there. What's up, finally? made it down from the peak way the fuck up there and uh, I'll tell you what 
coming down this thing right here worst part of the trip for sure um, I definitely am glad I came solo and I didn't uh, bring somebody else with me because they had been pissed that I took that route so I found my first place for water so now we can rehydrate fill up feel a lot better I haven't had water since I left the Jeep I mean I've had water in my bottles but there was no sources so I couldn't refill so I drank one bottle of water this whole time and this is probably the thirstiest I've been in a while so it's time to get some water follow this little creek thing down here and um, hopefully the bugs don't eat me alive I guarantee when this Sun is down the bugs are kind of come for me so that'll be fun that'll be that'll be miserable but I'm gonna find a spot to get water I'm also gonna find a spot to just probably cool down and um, maybe even set up camp soon I don't know if I want to set up camp right here by the water but you know, that might be a little risky I ended up just kind of staying here at this lake that I was looking at earlier this little lake pond whatever you want to call it it was just so beautiful and so peaceful so quiet nobody's here it's just me I got the place all to myself so I can't really complain um, so I set up camp and ready to cook eat and get some sleep because tomorrow I'm gonna use a different route to get back home so that I don't have to go back up that thing and then um, maybe even seeing something new I think I'm gonna end up crossing over uh, what is known as actual um, what is known as Spanish lakes well, the actual Spanish lake uh, I don't even think this lake that I'm at right now this little I'm calling it a lake but it looks more like a pond I don't even know if this is a uh, really a lake or not but it's fucking beautiful so I'm gonna eat get some sleep maybe take some photos tonight uh, the Milky Way is gonna be coming up right over this horizon here so it'll be kind of fun my legs are actually sunburned for the first time in years but oh you want is my I'm gonna eat some food get some sleep and uh, see you guys in the morning all you need is my pain nothing in between ever met your love And it was thunder Fire lit in the sky As to lead us straight Now heavy rain pours out of you and me Come back rain Come and ease this obsession is all cleaned up no trace besides Sasquatch footprints breakfast is done the Sun is out and uh, the bugs weren't bad I think it's a little too early for the mosquitoes to be all um, up and at them at this point but uh, I'm a little bit sunburned I can feel it beating down on the back of my arms so it's gonna be at my back this whole time so I definitely lotioned up we're gonna take a new trail actually back to the Jeep so hopefully I don't get lost if I do you guys will be the first to know time for me to show you guys where I spent the night, which was right on the other side of this little ridge right here. I spent the night right there at the lake and uh, summited this peak right here, Spanish Rock or Spanish Mountain. Came down over that. Actually, I had to go behind that ridge there to come back over it to find the lake uh, just because you couldn't walk the ridge. It was too dangerous. Uh, and then I came down there, spent the night, walked all the way back through here because to be honest, I did not want to have to climb that cliff again. Going back up, it was already pretty scary, pretty, pretty treacherous right there. So I came back down around this way. I kind of scouted it out when I was camping uh, to come back up this, this ridge right here wasn't so bad. Coming over here, I'm gonna head back up this mountain because I need to follow that ridge all the way through there to my Jeep back there. I think Spanish Lake is actually right around this corner. So we are halfway there and plenty sweaty, tired and thirsty. Beautiful though, check this out. Look at that, how wonderful is that? Whenever you're walking through the forest for a few days, eating dried food and nothing but warm water, this is always a nice sight. I got some stashes over here in the bear canister or in the bear box waiting for me. Some nice cold drinks and fresh clothes. So good old Bessie. It's always good to see her. We're leaving the campground at the end of uh, the Spanish trailhead. And this is the first time I've actually ever done this trail. I did it the other day, uh, well, the other night, in the middle of the night, at like 
midnight all by myself, hoping there was other people up here in case. Well, this isn't, you'll see here in a minute, this really isn't the kind of trail you want to be necessarily alone on. This is more of a trail you want to bring people with. Um, there's a few spots it's a little hairy, fewer to break down. Uh, the last few days I've seen nobody out here, and um, you'd be definitely SOL. So anyway, we're going to get to it. This is a pretty gnarly trail. If I was in my CJ, this wouldn't even be an issue. I think it would crawl through here like, like a champion, but well, Bessie, she's just, uh, she's my daily driver, so she's not as, she's not as advanced, but we'll get it. So anyway, we're gonna get on this trail. I'm gonna bust out the GoPro. It's a little easier to handle than this thing. Some of these, uh, some of these hills, or some of these grades are a little steep, so I don't want this uh, huge DSLR camera to turn into a cannon or to turn into a projectile. So I'm going to put this thing away and get the GoPro out. Mm -hmm. 